previously on Minecraft Story Mode. That glow, that enchantment, is the work of a very old group of builders. A group so old that they existed even before the Order of the Stone. Okay, guys, I'm seeing grass, forest, lots of ground in all directions. All good signs so far. Uh, um. Aha. Uh -huh. Verdict says, definitely not our world. You owe me two iron, Lucas. Pay up. Okay, okay. Here. <laughs> Told you it was a dumb bet. Oh, come on, can't you hear it? A uh, spooky forest? It's the sound of a new adventure. I bet this place is gonna be awesome. I hope you're right. I was just... Uh, I'm just worried about Axel and Olivia. What? Why? Well, if they followed us back to that old builder temple and went through the portal... They would arrive in Sky City to find it overflowing with monsters. Yeah. At least we already built them the bridge. That is more than we started with. Hey, maybe next time we're in the portal hall, we can leave a sign or something. Tell them which one we're going through. I like that idea. Well, I for one vote that we not be so hasty to try and get out of here. Who knows what sorts of treasures this new world could hold. Besides, unless the next portal is disguised as a tombstone, I'm not seeing it anywhere near here. You guys see some sort of shape over there? Yeah. What is that? Let's find out. It says, invitation. And then, read immediately, your life depends on it. <clears throat> Greetings, traveler. Yep, that seems about right. Keep reading, Jesse. Got your back. I, I humbly invite you to my mansion for an evening of food and festivity with your fellow adventurers. That's odd. Yeah, weird, right? Whoa! Toss it here! Any time now? You can read, right? Hang on, hang on! Need to find Jesse's place. Uh, got it! Yeah. Come to my home on the hill. Just follow the path. Yeah. Please look out for zombies. Sincerely, the host. Nice warning. Come on, there's the path. I must say, this is the highest concentration of zombies I've ever seen in one place. You think this host is gonna be legit, Jesse? I just asked because this place hasn't exactly been friendly so far. Hey, the invitation was classy, though. I don't see why they wouldn't be. The invitation and everything seems pretty legit. I'm going to go out on a limb and say, that's the place we're looking for. Race you guys there. Oh, yeah. I don't race so much anymore. Bad, bad knees. Hope that fighting helped you work up an appetite, Petra, because you're about to eat my dust. Oh, big words, Jesse.
hear that too, right? Almost sounds like a waterfall! one jesse let's maybe get inside the mansion before we pat ourselves on the back too much shall we that front door is definitely a no-go <sighs> stick with me guys I don't know who he was. Some creepy guy in the window. He had a white pumpkin for a head. White pumpkin? No such thing as white pumpkin. Let's save the agricultural discussions for inside, okay? <sighs> Great! There's no door back here. How are we supposed to get in? Nope, can't go back that way. There, we should be able to build up and break in through there. Trees, we can cut those down. Good plan. And now my inventory is full of wood blocks. Hey, you never know when those will come in handy. Looks like some kind of kitchen in there. Then break the window and get us into the blasted place. Hope the host doesn't mind us breaking their window. I'm sure he'll find it in his heart to forgive us. Wow, some kitchen. Oh, Doug, you know I don't care if you took it. Just give it back. And I'm telling you for the last time, Sparkles, I didn't take the stupid thing. I think we could avoid a lot of unpleasantness. Uh. What the? Hi. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Very, very funny. Show up super late, make us all sit and wonder what the heck is going on. Now, this is your house, right? Because if it is, we've all been waiting for, like, hours. It's rude! Now, easy, Torque Dog. We got one of these invitations, too. What the heck is going on here? Darn. Sorry for the language. That wasn't about you getting an invitation. Just that I was hoping you could explain things. This is Torque Dog. Sup? And I'm Captain Sparkles. Though, maybe you know that already. Captain Sparkles? I've got, like, nine million fans? Captain Sparkles? Are you saying that with a Z? Petra! Show some respect! The man's a captain. 
It really is awesome to meet you. I'm Jesse, and that's Petra, Lucas, and Ivor. Charmed. Jesse? That's a girl's name. What are you guys, anyway? Some sort of <laughs> loser patrol? Fuck dog. Oh, come on. That was hilarious. Actually, we're the Order of the Stone. You know, legendary heroes. Kind of a big deal. Legendary heroes? <laughs> I ain't never heard of you. Tork Tork, cool it. That sea of zombies has us all trapped. So we just need to try our best to get along. Worst day ever. Just try and look on the bright side. I hate so much about the way you choose to be. Wait, how many more people are in this place? Counting us, seven? Mm-hmm. Most of them useless. I tell you what, the minute all them weird zombies are gone, <sighs> Torque Dog is out of here. Okay, so the sea of zombies isn't normal. It's good to hear. Two moons is normal, though, right? Um, the moons? Uh, yeah. Why don't you know about this stuff? Are you from, like, out of town or something? <laughs> what the hell? Did you hear that? Something touched my foot! Who touched my foot? I think it stopped. What's up with the lights? Hey, what's going on? Hey, Jesse. Jesse, come here. You've got a, a, a girl's name. Torque dog? Torque dog? So I'm guessing calling dibs on his inventory would be... Ivor. Not classy. Got it, got it. That poor guy, that's so awful. Yeah, he, uh, seemed like a little bit of a jerk. But that's still a nasty way to go. All those arrows, his inventory, everywhere. How did that... Who? One minute he's alive, the next... Gone. Poof. Sparkles, I know you're freaking out right now, but you've got to pull yourself together. Okay, okay. You're right. Woo. You're right. Everyone stand back. Let me see what I can figure out. This is... Why is this happening? Gunpowder, redstone dust, leather pants. Pretty much what you'd expect, I guess. Uh. Uh, who would do this? There's the trapdoor that sucked up Torque Dog's stuff. Looks like it's a match set with that arrow dispenser up there. But you saw his stuff. He didn't really have anything worth stealing. Perhaps it was simply to dispose of the evidence. Guys, found something strange about this arrow. Yeah, Ivor, you know potions and enchantments and weird stuff like that. What do you make of it? Smells like... Yes. Potion of poison? Oh, is it a tipped arrow? Oh, I've heard of those. They're... they're still pretty new. Oh, nasty stuff. Using potions to make arrows. The possibilities are fascinating. Would you stop pointing that thing all over the place? You're making me nervous. Back up. What did you say that was? Uh, t tipped arrows? You can, like, put different potion effects on them? I could have sworn I saw someone doing a tutorial on how to make those not too long ago. My nerves are too shot to remember who right now. Well, let me know if it comes back to you. Hello? Everything okay in here? Whoa! What's with the crowd? I, uh, I was just about to get everyone together to tell them at once. Okay? Hang on a minute. It's you. I recognize you. Excuse me? Uh, yes. What? Recognize us? How? I'll show you. Follow me. Um, okay. Lizzie, hi. Did you see all these new... Oh, you've got them with you. <gasps> Oh. <sighs>
Well, first it was the portraits of the people already here, then poof, you guys. Whoa, that's unexpected. Yeah, no kidding. They're absolutely exquisite. Perfect. Well, not perfect. Absolutely perfect. Must have been when we showed up. Flattering how well they captured our likenesses. Some of us. Somebody's up to something. I don't know what yet, but I'm gonna figure it out. Well, that's definitely not a good sign. Come on, everyone. Let's huddle up in the dining room. Wonder if he told them yet. Can't wait to hear the big news. Me neither. Ooh, I hope there's cake. Guess not. Come on, let's do this. Come on, Winslow. Here, let me introduce you all properly. You guys already met Cassie Rose and LD Shadow Lady. Uh, but my friends call me Lizzie. This is Stacy Plays, Stampy Cat, and that's Dan, the Diamond Minecart. W when did your hair change color? Wasn't it? It's funny. Before you guys showed up, we all knew each other here. They're the Order of the Stone. Jesse, Petra, Lucas, and Ivor. Apparently, they're famous heroes where they come from. You said there was news? Is it good? Good news? Uh, yeah. It's, um, bad news, I'm afraid. Torque Dog is dead. Good heavens! Oh, no. Wait, what? But Torque Dog was so tough! There was nothing that could take him down. What happened? Yeah, what on earth is going on here, Sparkles? These are what got him. Tipped arrows? Does this mean someone set a trap for Torque Dog? That's nasty. I can't believe Torque Dog's gone. Just like that. So, what happened to his stuff? Whoa! How can you say that? What? It's a valid question. Whoa. Come on, everyone. Come on. Don't get greedy. Just... I want to know what happened. For curiosity's sake. His stuff just disappeared. Went down this weird hole in the floor. Are we just supposed to take your word for that? Guys, I saw it too. Jesse was poking around in Torque Dog's stuff right before it got sucked into a hopper. So I'm looking at this situation, I'm trying to figure something out. Is this just about Torque Dog, or is there a bigger picture? Yeah, why have our portraits? I don't know, guys. Knowing Torque Dog, I think this might just be about him. Am I picking up some beef here? Uh, what? No! I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, but then why invite us all here? That's true. Hadn't thought about that. Well, someone brought us here for a reason, including Talk Dog. What if we're all in danger? Oh my gosh, Dan's right! Whoever's doing this, they could be hunting us! Hunting us? Hey, come on, everyone. If there's one thing I believe in, it's teamwork. If we all stick together and get through this as a team, we'll be fine. Ha, <laughs> inspiring. There you go, guys. Teamwork makes the dream work. Wow. Oh, all of this danger talk has my stomach all queasy. Stampy, come over here. I need to talk to you about something. Lizzie, psst, Lizzie. The more I think about it, the more I think that there's something these people really don't want us to know. One of them's got to know the truth about what's going on here. It'd be nice to figure out what on earth is going on here. Especially if we're going to be stuck with these people until dawn. Sounds like we've got a mystery to solve, people. Luckily, Detective Jesse is on the case. Let's get investigating, then. Hey there, Dan. Lizzie? Oh, uh, hello? Hi there. If you don't mind, I actually had some questions about this Torque Dog situation. Yeah? Go ahead. Torque Dog was clearly targeted with this trap. Why him? 
Well, he was bragging about having some kind of rare item. Wouldn't show it to anyone, of course. Typical talk dog. So this rare item that Torque Dog claimed to have, what can you tell me about it? We don't know exactly. Yeah, sorry. Okay. Seemed like people were really interested in seeing Torque Dog's inventory. Any idea why? An adventurer like him? He could have had all kinds of cool stuff. Uh-huh. Okay, that's it for now. Thanks. What'd you find out? It's all tangled up, but it sounds like Torque Dog claimed to have some sort of rare item. I didn't see anything like that in his inventory, though. Yeah, something's not quite adding up here. Hey, Sparkles, and Cassie Rose, yeah? Yep, hi, that's me. Hey there, Jesse. Oh, Winslow says hi, too. <laughs> you mind if I ask you guys some questions? Nope. What are the questions? There was drama between Lizzie and Torque Dog, right? Got any insight? Sorry, I'm not getting wrapped up in that. Especially now that Torque Dog is, you know. But it's weird, right? Definitely seems like there's some beef. Uh, not that I, um, want to get into rumors or anything like that. Got any guesses why someone would kill Torque Dog? Uh, gosh, gosh, um, he was a little prickly around the edges, you know? You'd have to ask other people about that. I, I didn't really know him. Mm-hmm. I don't want to say anything mean about a guy that's not here to defend himself, but, well, you met him, right? Prickly is kind of an understatement. Cassie, you seem pretty upset about people wanting to poke around Torque Dog's inventory. Oh, was I? Yeah, yeah, you were. Why was that? Well, it was just so... It's insensitive, right? I mean, it, it had just happened, and she was all curious about what was in his pockets. Just... Made me mad, I guess. Sparkles, Cassie, Winslow, thanks for the time. No problem. Uh, yeah, anytime. Get anything out of them? Found out this group has a whole lot of secrets they're keeping from each other. That's definitely something. Hey, guys. Oh, hello. Got more questions, do you? Lizzie, seems like you're not much of a Torque Dog fan. What's the deal? Oh, come on. You met him, right? Nobody liked that guy. I'm just the only one who will actually admit it. He, um, yeah, he definitely wasn't the nicest person. Thanks, guys. Hey guys, Stampy and Stacy, right? Oh, um, uh, hello! Hey, Jesse. What's up? I know things are a little nuts right now, but I've got some questions. Oh, really? Uh, but well, what? Seems like Lizzie and Torque Dog really didn't like each other. Know anything else about that? Oh, that! Real shame, real shame. He broke into her house and stole a bunch of stuff from her. She was super upset about it. You don't say. Stacy, you seem pretty curious about what was in Torque Dog's inventory. What's up with that? Well, Torque Dog was a pretty notorious thief. I was just curious what he had. That's it. Mm hmm. Anyone you can think of that would want something bad to happen to Torque Dog? Um, well. I never had that big of a problem with him personally, but I know other people did. Quite a few, actually. I don't know if you noticed, but he was a bit of a griefer. Yeah, and a thief. Thief, huh? Interesting. Thanks, you two. This has been enlightening. No problem. Yeah, no problem.
So did you find anything out from Stacy or Sturdy Cat? Stampy Cat? Right, right. So did you find anything out? Apparently, Torque Dog was a well-known thief. A thief, huh? Well, that might have something to do with it, don't you think? Agreed. So, Torque Dog was a thief, and he supposedly had something rare, but I feel like there's still a piece missing. No one will tell me what this rare item is. I, uh, I think I can shed some light on that situation, actually. Well, now my curiosity is piqued. He already had me at rare item. Oh, thank goodness someone's being direct with me. Thanks, Sparkles. There's a temple way out in the middle of nowhere. No one knows who built it, but it's been there forever. People have been trying to track down the temple's location for ages because they want this treasure, supposedly deep in its basement. Now, it looks just like an ordinary flint and steel, but it's actually super rare. It's got this enchantment on it. It can open portals to other worlds? Exactly. Wait, what? You know about the enchanted flint and steel? How did you know that? Did, have, you, have you seen it? Have you seen it today? I actually have one of my own. Really? Yeah, I do. Just used it a little no, while geez, ago to put get... Put that away. You, you can't just pull that out here. Okay. Uh, you know, I had a theory about why you were here, and I, I think this might just prove it. Everyone? Everyone? We've all been freaking out, wondering why we were all brought here. Why uh, Torque Dog died? Uh, and Jesse has just uncovered a very important clue. What? Really? Whoever killed Torque Dog, whoever invited us, they're after the enchanted flint and steel. Greetings, adventurers. I am the White Pumpkin. One of you is the treasure I desire, and I will not rest until it is mine, even if I have to resort to murder. And if we're stuck in here, we're all doomed! I thought I heard Sparkle say something about a flint and steel. Oh, please don't bring that up again. Well, obviously Talk Dog didn't steal it. Okay, but who then? Uh, Jesse? Well, I guess I'm next then. Nope, not happening. Don't worry, Ivor. I'll protect you. I appreciate that, Jesse. I just hope that this white pumpkin isn't beyond both of our abilities. Well, I'm sure there's a perfectly logical explanation for how the white pumpkin is doing all this. I mean, the whole place has got to be rigged with traps, right? Torque Dog, trap. Sparkles, trap. Yeah, we need to find out what makes these traps tick. All right, I'm gonna investigate that dining room. Cool. 
I'll keep those guys in the hall for now so I can keep an eye on everyone. An excellent idea. Don't want them messing up the crime scene. I'm sticking with you, Jesse. Doesn't seem safe to wander off alone. Okay, people, clear out! This is a crime scene! Okay, how are you doing this, White Pumpkin? Impressive. Anything? No, nah, looks like a regular old fireplace. This looks like the exact spot where the white pumpkin appeared, but now, just a portrait. Unless... It's just a costume on an armor stand with a jukebox for the voice. No sign of how it was triggered. Wow. The white pumpkin must have some amazing redstone skills to rig up something like this. But why? It must have taken a lot of work to rig up. They must have a reason for it. I think it could have been to throw us off the trail, make us think there were two white pumpkins or something. Well, hopefully something else in here can shed a little more light on the situation. Man, poor Sparkles. Crushed under sand. <sighs> Really nasty way to go. Okay, so this was the dining table where we were all gathered together right before... Okay, let's give this a shot. Just like before. Greetings, adventurers. I am the White Pumpkin. Yep. One of you is like the before. treasure I desire, and I will not rest until it is mine, even if I have to resort to murder. Jesse! He's back! The White Pumpkin's back! Don't worry, everyone. It's just a dummy. A White Pumpkin costume on an armor stand. Wait, what? Why? The trap that killed Sparkles, the whole show with the white pumpkin, it was all triggered by a button on the table. But what does that mean? I am so creeped out right now. Understandably. It means that we can figure out the white pumpkin's identity. Whoever had access to the button must be him. Wait, so you're saying that the white pumpkin is one of us? That's right, Mr. Stampy. One of us is a murderer. Is that right? Yeah. Wait, but that's not where Jesse found the button before. There's more than one? I'll see if I can find all of them. Nice work, Jesse. Yes. I must say I'm relieved to know that there's a logical explanation for what the White Pumpkin's been doing. So what now? Feels like we've made some good progress so far, though, right? We need to figure out the most likely suspects and interrogate them. Judging by the tipped arrows in these traps, the White Pumpkin must have some serious chops in brewing and redstone. Okay, that's all of them. If you could all please take the same seat you were at before. Four of your seats are marked. These are the seats that had a button to activate the trap. That means the White Pumpkin could only be Dan, Stampy, Lizzie, or Lucas. Wait, you're accusing us? Wait, what? I echo their sentiments exactly. I didn't even see a button. Me neither. This is crazy. Hey, 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 I'm not accusing anyone. Yet. It sure sounds like you're accusing us, stranger. And I don't care for it. I'm taking charge now, and I'm going to get to the bottom of this. I want everyone separated. I'm going to talk to each suspect one by one so I can find out who's telling the truth and who's lying. I got a whole lot of questions, and I want nice little matching answers for each and every one of them, understand me? Loud and clear. Yes, crystal clear. Who are you gonna interrogate first? Stampy Cat.
Jesse, I'm telling you, this is just crazy. Absolutely crazy. Total misunderstanding. I don't even want that flint and steel thingy. Not um, as much as the others at any rate. Did I hear someone saying that it has something to do with portals? I don't have any interest in portals. No, sir. Not for old Mr. Stumpy Cat, thank you. It's me, Stumpy! Everyone's friend! Oh, come on now, Mr. Stampy. I thought you were some legendary adventurer. You want me to believe that you don't want an ancient artifact that lets you travel to different worlds? Ooh, I mean, that does sound tempting, but, uh, no, no, thank you. I'm fine with my local legend status. I'm a man of simple pleasures. <laughs> Please, just tell me what you want to know. Know anything about this? Oh, wow, what is that? Some sort of magic arrow? No, I've never seen anything like it before, honest. You know who would love to see something like that, though? Lizzie. She's wild about potions and brewing and all of that. She's way better with that stuff than I am. Good with potions, you say? Very good. Could probably even teach a class. <laughs> what do you know about redstone? What's your skill level with the stuff? Oh, well, you know, about average. Average level moderate. I, I don't know how these things are graded these days. I know that Dan's been getting really into the stuff lately, though. Just putting that out there, in case you're curious. Dan's interested in redstone, huh? Okay, enough dancing around. Who do you think took the flint and steel? I don't think it was ever actually stolen. Oh? Yes. Yeah, so Dan got it ahead of Lizzie, right? And she was pretty angry about it. I think he made up that story about it being stolen, so she'd think he didn't have it anymore. Classic Dan move. You're excused, Stampy. Thank you for your time. Ah, oh, thank goodness. This room's making me very nervous. Who's up next? Can you bring in Lizzie? Right. Jesse, listen. There's been a lot of talk thrown around today. I don't know what people have told you. I don't know what you believe. But I'll just admit it. I want that enchanted flint and steel as much as anyone. Probably more than any of them. I've been searching for it for years. Do you know how much it's stung to have Dan Dan, swoop in and take it from under my nose. So aggravating. Wow, would you kill someone for it? Nah, I wouldn't do that. I'm starting to get real irritated with this white pumpkin fella, though. Listen, I just want to get out of here and get on with my day. What do you have to hear to be convinced that the white pumpkin isn't me? Know what this is? Tipped arrow. Kinda shoddy work, though. Definitely not one of mine, if that's what you're wondering. Some noob made that thing. Seems like something Dan might cobble together, though. Plus, I taught Cassie and Stacy how to make those a while back. You like using redstone? Ever make traps with the stuff? I'm fine, I guess. Lights, doors, that sort of thing. Dan was always way better than I was, though. You wouldn't believe some of the stuff I've seen that guy build. Crazy conveyor belts, hopper systems. Traps would be no problem for him. I'm just going to be straight. Who do you think stole the flint and steel? Well, it wasn't me, if you're curious. If I had an enchanted flint and steel, I'd be off exploring some other world with it. Between you and me, though, I think Dan's whole story about it being stolen from him is a load of trash. I bet he's still got it. Thanks for your time, Lizzie. That's all for now. Ready for Dan? Yeah, send him in. Hey, I, I don't know what the other's been saying, but you, you have to listen. I'm telling you, you've got the wrong guy. Honest. I would never hurt anyone. You've got to believe me. If anyone's been wronged here, it's me. That enchanted flint and steel everyone's talking about? 
I found that. That's mine. At least it was before someone stole it. And now everything's gone completely crazy. People getting caught in horrible traps, everyone accusing and blaming each other. Oh, I see. Someone stole your loot, and you want revenge, huh? That about the long and short of it? Oh, no, 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 no. I just want what's rightfully mine. I mean, we all want it. Doesn't mean I kill people for it, though. Uh-huh. I'm not the White Pumpkin. You've got to believe me. What can I tell you to convince you? So, how do you rate your redstone knowledge? Me? Oof, not much. Not really my scene. You want to know more about that stuff? You should ask Stampy. He was the Triblock champion. Know anything about this? Oh, wow. Uh, no, I've never seen anything like that before. No? Tipped arrows not ringing a bell? Made using potions? Nuh-uh, but you want to know about stuff with potions? I've asked Lizzie. She's way better with that stuff than I am. I always go to her with potion questions. Noted. Out with it. Who stole the flint and steel? I... I, I don't know. I don't know anything about it. And you just expect me to believe that? Seems to me that your name's been coming up connected to that flint and steel a lot today. Just come clean with me. You're the White Pumpkin, aren't you? Whoa, 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 whoa. No way. Not me. That's just not true. You have to believe me. You want me. your enchanted flint and steel back, and you built this whole house to get it. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't know how. Honest. You can go now, Dan. Thanks, Jesse. Thank you. Oh, come on! This is nuts! You had a button, too! Fair's fair. It's your buddy's turn next. Hey, Jesse. Ah, my final suspect. Here to point more fingers and blame more people, I'm sure. I didn't push the button, you know. I figured. Thanks, though. How's it been going in here? It is just non-stop whispering and rumors out there. Me, Petra, and Ivor pretty much been sticking to ourselves. Now it's been rough. These people have so much drama going on, it's hard to tell what's about the flint and steel, what's about the white pumpkin. Well, I know you can do it. <laughs> Thanks, Lucas. Come on, suspect. It's time to return to the others. So? Have you decided? Yes. Who do you think the White Pumpkin really is? No, hang on. Hang on, everyone. First of all, I want to thank everyone for answering my questions. There's still not 100% proof of anyone, but... But... Yes. Where are your suspicions leading, Jesse? Jesse was definitely questioning Stampy the longest. What? No! Dan was in there way longer. Hey, not cool. Guys, guys, come on. Having talked to all the key witnesses, I think it might be... Stampy Cat! No! That's crazy talk! Absolute crazy talk! Of the suspects, he's the one with the redstone chops to make all these traps. No, 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 no! You can't really believe this! Can you? I'm thinking we lock him back in that library. Hold him there till morning. Sounds like a good plan. Sorry, Stampy, but we can't take any chances Oh, come here. on! I'm Stampy Cat! Mr. Stampy! I'm no white pumpkin! Well... That was certainly some excitement. Yeah, no kidding. If the White Pumpkin is still roaming around, though, he might be trying to set up more traps. We need to figure out how these things work. Like, we know that the Sparkles trap was triggered by those buttons under the table, but what about the trap that turned Torque Dog into a pincushion? If we figure out how these things work, we might be able to find more proof about who the White Pumpkin is, how they're operating. Petra's got a good point. It must have been triggered from nearby, just like the table buttons. Sounds like we need to investigate near the trap, then. You guys go on ahead. I'm gonna stay here, keep an eye on these other people. I don't want them trying anything when we're not looking. Thanks, Lucas. Back in the kitchen. So, what are we looking for, exactly? Buttons like back in the dining room? Conspicuous white pumpkins lying around? 
This whole house could be full of traps. I just want to make sure this place is safe before someone gets hurt. An excellent plan. Does this painting have eye holes? Oh, yeah. How'd I not notice that before? Seems worth taking a closer inspection. Oh! It's some sort of secret passageway. Very clever. What do you suppose that lever does? Okay, everyone, make sure you're nowhere near that arrow trap. More of those potion-covered arrows. Nasty. Well, seems like we found out how the White Pumpkin killed Tork Dog. Yeah, and how he's getting around the house. I assume we're investigating the creepy passageway? I think we've come too far to turn around now. Well, after you then. I hope Stampy's okay locked up in the library. We could have put them in even bigger danger. What if there are more traps in there? I suppose as a bridge we'll have to cross when we get to it. Well, I hope that it's a bridge we just avoid entirely. I've lost track of this metaphor. What do you think that is? No idea. But look! A lever! The amount of redstone wiring that must be hidden in this place. Amazing! Ivor, no! What do you think I am? Gents! I was just looking at it! Oh, good. Thanks for the vote of confidence, though. See anything that this lever might be connected to? It's the library. I can see Stampy locked up in there. Hey, I have to speak to you. Oh, Dan, what are you doing here? I snuck in past that blonde guy, uh, Lucas? But I have to speak to you. It's really important. It was me. I killed Sparkles. What? You're the White Pumpkin? Oh, what? No, 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 no. I swear, it was an accident. But, but, Dan, accident? Really? I swear, I had no idea. There was this button. I'm not good with buttons. I had to push it. I had no idea what it would do. Now I feel awful. Well, it's just... That's a little the white hard to pumpkin, believe. he's in there. I know, I know, it sounds ridiculous. Butt. I've been beating myself up about it ever since it happened. And then you got locked up in here? I just had to come in and clear my conscience. Yeah. What, what on earth? That's my key. 
you. Come on. Jesse, are you okay? I have to break through. 